All right, what you're looking at here is a two-cylinder engine. Uh, it's basically a dual opposed cylinder configuration, very much like the old Volkswagen Beetle when they first came out. It's entirely built from bar stock. Uh, the only point, the only parts of the engine that are not built by myself are the spark plugs, which I purchased from uh, Roy Shaw at SNS Engineering, and a set of Chrysler ignition points. That's about mid 1970s Chrysler. Everything else I machined myself from bar stock. Now the engine. The original intent was to leave the open top so people could see the workings in there. See the crankshaft and the camshaft. And so this, uh, it didn't really work out. I mean, when the engine is running, all you see in there is a gray blur. So this morning I built this very pretty brass cap to go on there. And eventually I'm going to embed some magnets to hold it in place. But uh, I just started the engine up a few minutes ago and it rattles and clatters unbelievably because it's just sitting in there. So I'm going to move it out of there for this video because I don't want to show the engine at a disadvantage with it rattling and clattering. So there's the lid made from quarter inch brass plate and here it is with an open top. I'm not going to pick the camera up and show you any closer because I've got it set up on a tripod and if I move it I'll never get it back in the same position. I've got my auxiliary lighting in place and uh, now we're going to turn on the switch. This is uh, running off, a, off an old motorcycle dual output coil. It fires alternately. This cylinder fires it goes around and then immediately this cylinder fires. So the firing is alternating back and forth. Uh, one piston is up on compression. It gets a spark and fires. The other piston is up on the exhaust stroke and it fires too, but there's nothing in there to ignite. So it doesn't really matter. So it's a waste spark system. One of the spark always lights the charge and the other spark is wasted. So without much further ado, I'm going to start this. We'll show it running at a high speed. We'll show it running at a low speed. And there's not an awful lot else about it that I can tell you, but I certainly will answer any questions if you have them. Now that's a fairly low speed there. If I make a few more adjustments, I can probably get it to run slower than that, but that's not a bad speed right there. So that's it running at a low speed. And it will uh, really blat out at a high speed. I don't like to run my engines too fast. I have no real reason to, and I don't want them to fly apart. There's a great deal of work in them. It has cast iron cylinders, aluminum pistons. The main body is made up from uh, half inch thick aluminum angle iron. If I was going to do it over again, I'd make the main body from one piece. But, uh, this is a live and learn type of thing. We'll see if we can slow the idle down a little bit. There. I would say that's pretty respectable right there. It's amazing with a two-cylinder engine where it doesn't have to go through two full revolutions before it fires again. Just how smooth and idle you can get. I don't know if I can slow that down anymore or not, really. There. 
I think if I slow it down any further than that, it will probably stall. I want to thank everyone who has followed my build threads on this. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work. Um, I didn't have a great deal of problem on startup. I had one cylinder, the right hand cylinder was firing, the left hand cylinder was being very lazy. And I ended up, I put a new head gasket on the right hand cylinder and pulled the head off the left hand cylinder and dressed the valves a bit more and put a new head gasket on that side as well. Other than that, I really haven't had to do very much to it. And uh, I guess that's all I have to say, folks, and thank you all very much for watching.